It's another step that aims to further our knowledge of Mars by leaps and bounds. European and Russian space, space agencies launched a joint mission today that is intended to search for signs of life on the red planet. With more on their mission, let's bring in Johanna Wagstaff. And I've seen scientists describe this as a giant nose in space. <laughs> Yes, and that is a very apt description, Susanna, because the satellite, which is on its way to Mars right now, successfully leaving Earth's gravity just a couple of hours ago during its seven-month mission, it will be getting ready to detect even the smallest gases in the red planet's atmosphere. And what it'll be looking for in particular is methane. Now, methane was first detected by NASA's Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars in very small amounts, which was surprising because methane at these small levels would probably be burnt up by UV light, but instead, something is continually producing methane in the Martian atmosphere. It's either some kind of geological process deep within the uh, uh, Martian surface or it's microbes. Just like Earth's methane is mainly produced by the stomach of cows on Earth, uh, microbes underneath the surface may be producing the methane. So this new EXO uh, satellite, which again, we won't really know results until early next year, should shed some light. The instruments are so sensitive it can uh, detect even the smallest amount of gas in the atmosphere. And if this mission is successful, uh, the European Space Agency and uh, Russia will launch a follow-up rover uh, sometime in 2020. Susanna? Yeah, and this is part of some of those other goals with this mission, Johanna. Yeah, that's right. The objectives are threefold, to detect methane, to drop a lander to test the technology for the ESA in Russia. They've never dropped a lander on the surface of Mars before, and to set up a communication link. Take, take a listen to the uh, lead scientist for the project. We'll also establish a platform for communications of all landed missions, so rovers, landers, not only for ESA, but also for NASA and anybody else that goes to Mars. And lastly, the capsule will land on Mars. Its purpose is to teach Europe and Russia how to land on Mars, because we haven't done that yet. So, Susanna, it's a research mi mission, but also an educational mission, and I'll be uh, watching this one closely. All right. Thanks, Johanna. You're welcome.